what I do is I stick it in the vise and get as close as I can where I can still put this in the position I need it and snap the vise down and that helps it grab a hold of this tubing a little better because when you go to swelling that tubing out and making the flare you don't want to push it through because this thing doesn't grip it as good as it should. Okay, we've got a vice nice and tight. First thing I do, this is what we call a double flaring bit right here. Hopefully you can see this. I can't see what the camera is showing right now. But you got several different sizes in your kit. This is for the 3 6 tubing, 3 16 tubing, sorry. And it goes in there. And that's got a little burr on it. I'm going to Okay, let me try deburr. I'm just going to use this little thing here. It's probably not the proper way to deburr, but this is all I have right now. Just using a step drill that happened to be within the reach. Now yeah, that worked just fine. Okay, got that. Okay, well, and actually, I don't think it's sticking out enough. Yeah, I want that sticking out a little more. Let's see if I can get lucky and shove it tipping through, turning the nut the wrong way. Bottom first. I don't really feel like it. I'll make a flare. Get it done. Gear done. There's it. Right, make sure my vice can go over this. Yeah. Yep. Find my little double flaring bit. There it is again. Like I said, it goes in the hole. Okay, we're sticking out a little more. Now, what you do is you put this on like on top of that bit like that, and what that does is it kind of swells your tubing out. Okay, I'll loosen that up, get this out of there. Now that we swelled it out with this, we put this point right here in the hole, of course, and we, what we do is we just clamp it down until it flares that tubing out into that chamfered hole in the vise that we got the tubing clamped into. And you got to put a little muscle behind it, it's not too bad. But you just want to get it good and tight so that it makes a nice smooth surface to seal on your flare. And there it is. Looks like it turned out okay. Now it doesn't have to look like your perfect store bought flares. I found that once you tighten these nuts up against your up against the male end of the flare, I rarely have trouble with uh, with them sealing. Really, it kind of kind of shapes itself to the surface that it seals to when you tighten the nut down. Is what it, what happens? Okay, I'll stick this back in so we can get this nut out. There's that. All right now, and there's what it looks like. If you can see it, I don't know how close it is. I'm not sure. I can't really see what the camera is showing, so I apologize if this turns out all screwed up. And there's that. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take this camera with me and put this brake line on. Hmm, my battery is getting very low. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and. I guess we'll have to pause this video, stop this video now. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the brake line on and call it a night. I would love to make, make a video of me putting the line on, but no big deal. A lot of people know how to put a brake line on. Okay, that's all of this video. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and comment.